just wanted to show you guys the cute passies that they have now. They have a lot of really That's cute ones beautiful. that I haven't seen before. Look at these. I love this one. Look at the one with the little bear and the paw prints. Oh, that one's tempting me for sure. Look at these. I like these Avent ones. These are so cute. We don't, we don't normally have these. These ones are the nighttime ones. Tommy Tippy has new ones out. Tippy ones, so cute. Hey there, Cradle Crew, and welcome back for another video. I've got little Miss Sassy Pants here in her sassy seat, and we are gonna open up some happy mail. But first, I'm going to get a little bib on her. She is just trying out her little sippy cup. We're gonna try some apple juice with her today. But I went to my mailbox after doing a little shopping spree today for one of the babies. And I checked my mailbox and got quite a bit of Mary mail. Usually when people send me stuff, they uh, want me to share it. So I wanna share it with everyone. I got a couple of cards from some aunties. I don't want to share the addresses on here. And I got this little package here too. So this one is from Auntie Angelique and it says a little art from my niece, which is so pretty. I don't even want to open it. <laughs> I have to be super gentle. Okay, I did good. Oh, it's a cute card. It says, the world needs more people like you. The world needs more people as thoughtful as you, for joy is a part of each nice thing you do. Oh, that's so sweet. The kindness you share brightens so many days. Thank you for all of your wonderful ways. Dear Misty, wanted to thank you for helping me through the beginner's experience into the reborn doll hobby. I love my little cutie. I have named him Joseph. You are a treasure, Angelique. Thank you so much. I'm so glad you love him. It makes me so happy when my babies go home to such amazing moms. And it so makes me so, so happy when they go home to an auntie that I know. I love it when people on my channel uh, trust me to bring to life a baby for them and that I get to send my babies home to an auntie. So that makes me thrilled. It's always so hard for me. Uh, I know it sounds crazy, but I am attached to these babies. They do have a piece of my heart with them when they go home. And I don't know. I always worry when it's somebody I don't know. I know that sounds crazy. I also am really weird and I worry on their travels home. I I get scared they're gonna get lost. Um, I've only had one issue and that was overseas and I won't be uh, sending babies overseas again because that was very scary. Uh, I had to do a whole investigation on a baby that was lost in transit for 90 days and it like was really upsetting, but baby made it home safe to her new mommy and everything was well, but I don't think I can go through that again. So this sweet card is a Valentine's card that came a little late from Auntie Carrie and it has donuts on it, which I love. Simply sweet, simply good. Carrie, you're making me want to go to Dunkin'. I haven't been there in a while and now I feel like I need to go take a trip to Dunkin'. <laughs> Oh, she put some of her artwork in here. Carrie uh, does coloring and she does, Auntie Carrie does artwork on her own. I can't wait to see it and keep that and find a frame for it. 
Um, hope your Valentine's Day is sprinkled with all kinds of happy. Happy Valentine's Day, my friend. Love you. I colored this picture. I hope you like it. I am super excited. I save everything that everybody makes for me. I keep it forever because that means the most to me. Wow, that's beautiful. Look at the colors. See, I think I have patience, but then I see something like this and I'm not sure if I have the patience to do so much detail. That's beautiful. Thank you so much. I'm going to put your name on the bottom of it and the date, if that's okay. So I want to definitely keep this. I probably need to find a frame for this. Thank you so much. This is so beautiful. Thank you for taking the time to make something for me. It means everything to me. Um, I think homemade items and anything from nature probably needs means the most to me more than anything. Like my husband's so lucked out. I'd rather have like these kinds of stones than diamonds. Like this stuff makes me so happy. <laughs> Anything that's like nature, rocks, any kind of rocks or stones. I love stones. So this package is from Auntie Chrissy and I'm trying not to show her a dress, but there's some really sweet packages inside. Oh goodness, there's lots of stuff in here. Auntie Chrissy. Holy cow, what do we get? We have rainbows. It says sweet, hello sweet baby on this. You guys, look at this. This is so sweet. That's beautiful wrapping paper. How cute. Oh my goodness. This is from Carter's. It says having a whale of a time on it. And it's newborn size for the boys. I have such sweet little boys that can wear this. Thank you so much. Look at this, you guys. This is adorable. I've never seen this before. And it's so perfect for Florida. How cute. I see some baby changing uh, videos in our future. <laughs> Another sweet little package. I feel like I feel like I'm getting a baby shower <laughs> for, for the new babies. This is so sweet. Sex of pants. Oh, this says, I think we should cuddle. Oh my goodness, embroidered on here. This is so cute. Newborn size and these sweet little pants. How adorable. Oh my goodness. I think I should save this one for baby Nathan because he wears this size and he's a silicone baby. And these colors are great for him because I don't have to worry about them bleeding onto his silicone. Thank you so, so much. And I do love these colors too because they're very unisex. So I can use them for both boys and girls. Oh my goodness, another little sweet package. <gasps> little shoes, oh my gosh. Do you see these cute little shoes? Oh my gosh, these are adorable. They have like baby blue and they're like white leather shoes. I have the cutest little vintage shoes and they look so much like this, but I don't have anything in newborn size. So these are beautiful. I can use these for any baby. Uh, Saskia is actually wearing a pair of the shoes that I'm talking about. She has them on her little tootsies right now. Don't you baby girl? I've been dying to dress her into something vintage. So I need to change her today and get her out of these little Valentine's clothes, but so sweet. Thank you so much. And there's one last little package. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, these are baby bagosh sandals for the summertime. And they Velcro, oh my goodness, in the back and on the sides. They have little buckles on them. Holy cow, these are so adorable. I have a pair of brown sandals for bigger babies, but these are so cute. These would fit you too, Sassy, and a future baby that's a little bit on the bigger side, but these would definitely fit her. 
and I also have a bigger baby coming in the near future. So that's amazing. Thank you so much, Chrissy. It's so sweet. I can't wait to get the babies changed for you and show them off in their cute little outfits. Um, Sassy, I believe, has a little dress that'll match these. And I love that. That's so sweet. We're going to put these on you for now. And I think maybe I will go ahead and try to find the little outfit I'm talking about and get her changed into these. That'll be so sweet. Thank you so much. You're so sweet. Thank you. Thank you. So I told you guys I had to go swing by Walmart really quick because I needed to pick up some uh, polyfill stuffing for babies that I'm finishing up on the table. And I really needed some diapers for the babies and a couple of things for a future baby that I'm adding to the box um, for my silicone baby. But I thought I would check out these cute diapers by Hello Bello. They have Dr. Seuss diapers. And I needed some diapers for bigger babies that are going home. And Sassy and another baby, like I said, I do have a baby in the future, a bigger baby coming to the nursery. And they will both fit in these size three diapers. But I wanted to check them out because I think there's two different kinds in here, two different patterns. Oh, so cute. Look at these little Dr. Seuss diapers. I know Carrie told me, Auntie Carrie told me that she got these for her baby and she was able to find them in the smaller sizes, but I have not been able to find them except in size three and four. But this is the blue colored one, so cute. And um, at my Walmart, for some reason, the lowest size I can find in the Hello Bello diapers, which makes me crazy, is the size two. And I really need size ones. And I don't know, it's been a couple of years. Every time I go there, they never have anything smaller than a size two. And newborns, kind of run small. I can fit those on my smaller babies, but I really need size one for most of my babies. So I was able to pick up a pair of size two because I do have a couple of three month size babies that can wear these. And I found the ones with the little umbrellas on them. Aren't those cute? I think those are so adorable. But I do have a lot of big babies that I've been making lately and sending home. So I really just needed to get some bigger diapers for them. I had to pick up stuff for another baby, but I happened to walk past the clearance rack. And this is one of my favorite outfits that I have in three month size, but I found this on sale for only $4 on the clearance rack. And it's preemie sized, and I wanna put it on my newest little preemie sized baby girl. But I've really been loving these Modern Moments by Gerber. I think they're organic clothes and you can mix and match. And I have a couple of onesies for my silicone baby coming home. And I really needed a little pair of pants to match. <clears throat> my newest silicone baby wears the zero to three months. And I thought she has like a cream colored onesie like this. I thought I would just get her one in this um, Heather Gray. I thought this would be really pretty for her. And it also matches these little pants. And I have another cute little onesie for her that she needed some pants to go with. So I found this real pretty color. I love this color of pink. It's so pretty. And I found these to match up with some of her other clothes, but like I said, it's mix and match, so it can go with the Heather Gray, but also I thought in the summertime, I found these little bloomers that are frilly. I thought she would look so cute in these frilly little bloomers with her chunky thighs because she has the cutest little belly button and the chunkiest thighs, and I just thought these little frillies would be so cute with a onesie and maybe some knee-high socks that I have coming for her. So cute. So I was totally wondering about a bag that I thought I was missing and I found it in my car tonight when I took my husband somewhere. Uh, I knew I was missing some stuff 
and I had to go back out to the trunk of my car to find this bag of stuff that I wanted to show you guys because it's so super cute. So <clears throat> I did finally find this soft blanket for my newest baby that's coming in April and I was looking for a really soft blanket for her. Uh, that was kind of, I have like a nature theme going for her. So I thought this was really beautiful and it's striped on the inside, but this is the outside. I guess you could flip it either way. It goes both ways and it's super soft. And this is also Modern Moments by Gerber. And I love this. I fell in love with this print. It's so beautiful. And this is a onesie <laughs> that goes with some of the stuff that I got for her and it matches. A little hat and a couple of other uh, pairs of pants and a little romper that I got for her as well so <clears throat> there's that and then I did find this cute little outfit in zero to three months I love it it has mountains on it I absolutely adore this little outfit I was trying to decide whether I wanted to get it in newborn size or zero to three months, but I absolutely love this little outfit. And look, it has a cute little hat that matches. So sweet. And then there's like a little fox in a canoe. It's so cute. I absolutely love it. And then I have been looking for these. I saw this print in the um, Philips Advent, the Ultra Air. I found these in a couple of places and just didn't grab them and so I regretted it and now I have them so I'm excited about those. Super cool, zero to six months. Um, found these at Walmart. And then, as you all know, I was looking for diapers. I was really needing some diapers for babies. I did find size three and four, but I was struggling to find any of the smaller sizes. So I couldn't find them in the ones that I normally get. So I ended up stopping by another store and just getting um, these ones. I did find some Huggies. These are size one and I got these Gentle Steps. I've never used these diapers before. This is the newborn size. So um, I have diapers for smaller for smaller babies that are going home. Um, but I found Huggies brand, but they were crazy expensive at the store I was at. They were like $12 a pack, something crazy. But um, I did find some smaller, so I'm all stocked up. I have size newborn, size one, and then in the Hello Bello, I have size two and three, so I'm good. <laughs> I think I have every size. I have pre plenty of preemie diapers, uh, thanks to Auntie Shirley. She sent me some of those last year, and I'm still well stocked on the preemie size diapers. So finally have diapers in every size, um, but you know, I love my Honest and my Hello Bello, so <laughs> um, I can't find Honest diapers anywhere except at Target. And those are in the bigger sizes. And then the Hello Bello I've been finding at Walmart, but it's also like, it's hard to find even size two. It's mostly like size three, four, and five. So leave me down a comment in the comment below if where you live, you can find Honest or Hello Bello diapers in the smaller sizes. It is super hard to find them here. So I don't know what is going on in Florida, but where I live, it is difficult. So I just wanted to show you really quick what these little shoes will go with for Little Miss Sassy. I got this little dress and just got done ironing it. I got this from Shirley. What a coincidence because it is 85 degrees out today and I'm going to put a little white sleeveless onesie underneath this and I have a pair of little white frilly bloomers, but I think it would look so adorable with these shoes because look at the stripes. They're the same colors, same color, same pattern. So cute. I think these will be adorable with this little outfit and I've been dying to dress her in this and I have little bloomers that will match this lacy part around the waist. So sweet.
Look at how cute these little bloomers are. These are gonna match so adorable. Oh my goodness. This is the front. They're super lacy and cute, but look at the bum on those. Oh my goodness. So this is something I wanted to show you about the Saskia sculpt too by Bonnie Brown. I love that this baby can lay on her belly. She looks really cute. I've never showed anybody this, but she actually is a really cute um, tummy time baby. So I just wanted to show you guys these bloomers. <laughs> Oh my god, look at her little bum. It's so cute. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. Sassy, we need to put you in more bloomers. These are so adorable. Oh my goodness. These little shoes fit her perfectly. Saskia has really dainty little feet. She is three months size, but she can almost wear newborn sized shoes sometimes zero to three months fits her perfect but these cute little sandals had three different velcro straps they look like they have little buckles but they um can be adjusted in the back and on the sides so they fit her absolutely perfect she looks so cute in this little dress from her auntie and she has her dolly from her auntie and her shoes and she's of course Got these cute, <laughs> these little bloomers and her little chunky thighs. So stinking sweet. I found this little headband that matches her dress perfectly. I was debating whether to do one of these colors, like the orange, if I couldn't find um, the right color headband for her. But that looks really sweet. And she looks so cute with her baby. How are you feeling, Sassy Pants? You look so cute, so cute, so cute. She's adorable. I love this sculpt. I am actually working on another Saskia on my table right now because something's going on with this edition of her sculpt. I think it's on a limited time or something. So I did get another one. I am working on another Sassy Pants. So if you're interested in me making this adorable baby for you, go ahead and send me an email. I'll leave it down below and I can do a custom Saskia for you. Uh, but I have to catch them before this sculpt sells out. Like I said, I have one on my table right now and I can make that one for someone. If you catch me soon enough, I can make it a custom for you because it doesn't have hair or eyes just yet. <coughs> So shoot me an email if you're interested because this baby is super fun to dress. I wish I had filmed changing her, but there was not enough space on this video. So you guys take care of yourselves. Take care of those gorgeous little babies. Take care of each other and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye guys.